Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omonus and I don't want to do this video because this is the top 10 country songs of all time. Trend is like, oh my god, we're gonna do this or I'm gonna do this. Fucking kill me. Um, here's my cat. Uh, I want to die. Oh, he's licking me right now. Yeah, that's gonna make it better, mates. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, top 10 country songs of all time. I don't want to do this, but. I'm doing this because I don't have any other requests right now and this is the 12th video I believe that I'm doing so I'm, I'm just like fuck it, you know, let's just get it over with. Um, I don't even know what the term is. I think it was Hank Williams. I like I like Hank, Hank Williams, I like him. Hank Williams Jr., just anything Hank Williams I like. You know, yeah, I don't want to say that's kind of gay. Um, yeah, uh, I like Johnny Cash, of course, obviously, I like him, you know, um, that's kind of it, honestly. I do, I do kind of get tired of Johnny Cash, you know, not of his music necessarily, but, like, he has 100 albums and they're, they're all the fucking same in Kona. So even the best country artist is still repetitive as fuck, so there you go. Um, and I don't like it that, you know, people always praise him for Hurt and, you know, Oh, it's a great song, it's a great cover, and you know, he went out on the perfect note, and that's true, you know, it's a, it's a perfect career, uh, it's a perfect final career song, for sure, but it's not his song, it was my Nine Inch Nails, my, you know, I named my fucking cat after fucking Nine Inch Nails, Trent, Trent Reznor, so, yeah, of course I love Nine Inch Nails, of course I do. So, um, I, I'm kind of offended right now, or kind of offended at that, because people always love him for that song. But he has 100 albums of original material. And people only talk about that fucking cover. I'm like, yeah, it's a great cover. I love it. Everyone fucking loves it. I love it. You love it. You know, everyone does. But I guess it doesn't make any sense to me. I get it. But, you know, he has so much original material, and people only talk about a cover. That's so ironic. But there you go. Um, I don't even have audio with this. Like, watch, watch more just like, they're just muting it for me because they know all sculptures are gonna be shit. The only four in life that make it it's kinda scary though, because this video has 18 million views. It's like one of their most, most viewed videos. So people do love country, and I don't get that. Why do people love country? I fucking hate it, so there you go. Why are you doing this? Because I don't have anything else to, uh, that is requested right now, so yeah. Very good. I was kinda turning into this guy right now, like fucking hell. What the fuck is he doing? He's playing everything but the guitar, like what the fuck man. Roll me up and smoke me when I die. What a creative fucking title. All those generic Fucking blokes. Friends in low places, Garth Brooks. Uh, okay, hate me for this. I like when the thunder rolls or something. That's like a controversial country song or whatever, or the music video was offensive, or the lyrics were offensive. I don't fucking know. I have a soft spot for Garth Brooks. I like Garth Brooks. I think he sounds good. Uh, that's kind of bad for me to say because people hate Garth Brooks because he's egotistical. He's like, he's like one of the biggest selling artists ever. I didn't even know that, but he's like one of the biggest selling artists ever out there because he's been doing it for so long and he's country. So you know, people buy that because they're dumb. Um, but I think his songs sound good. I think the the Thunder Rolls is a good song and it is a good title song. I like the title, so I can't deny that. I do like that song. I kind of like how this song sounds to me, you know, dumb but fun in a way. That's literally country summed up in one in one fucking sentence right there. Uh, not all of it, but most of it. Um, definitely not a fan of country, but I do have a soft spot for Garth Brooks. Uh, people just hate him because you know he keeps bragging about his dick size, like, oh look at my money, look at how much money I make. Like he keeps bragging about his dick size, and I'm just like, yeah, fuck off, Garth Brooks. It's impressive, but you don't have to fucking show off, man. First recorded as a demo, friends in low places. Well, let's listen to it more, though. I was not a huge fan of it at first, but I do like the Thunder Rolls. Sophomore effort in the early 1990s. 
Well, I like it less and less now since my speech. But he's not the most boring now. He is at least like controversial, so he's interesting. If that makes sense. Like, why don't you just put him on there just because of the sales? Like, oh yeah, Garbrooks, you can have a spot on there. Like, fuck all, mate. Number nine, Willie Nelson. Number nine, always on my mind, Willie Nelson. Like whenever I like hear a country artist, I like my whole language is just like broke as shit right now. I'm like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Decade later. you never told me what. Like you have a fucking ten second wave, and then you say like the most generic shit ever. Like fuck off, man. It's not bad, but it's really fucking slow. Oh, I hate this song. Not because it's bad, but like every movie ever used that song. Everyone has used that song. On the road again. Can't wait to be on the road again. The gambler Kenny Rogers. That sounds interesting though, the title. It sounds better though, I have to say. It sounds good in a way. Also home to one of the most well known country courses. You got to know when the hole. I guess it is, but it's not really familiar to me. Like the most generic poker table ever. Like yeah, we get it. You're a manly man. Like country people are so fucking boring. Fucking empty shelf of people, man. Jesus. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I might watch King of the Hill a bit later on. King of the Hill is a good show. Good memes and shit. Uh, number seven. Amarillo by morning, George Strait. Amarillo by morning. He just sounds like any other country artist out there. Originally written and recorded by Terry Stafford in 19... He just sounds like a less douchey Garth Brooks. That's just let's see how he sounds to me. I like that violin though. That's a good violin. That's such a fucking waste. That's such a beautiful violin on a fucking country song. It's such a waste of time. Number four on the American country charts and set the stage for straight to become the king of country. Amarillo, Amarillo, Amarillo is where I'll be. What is this? Number oh, Hank Williams. Your cheating heart, Hank Williams. Your cheating heart. Dipping into the same well um, as he did on Hanson. Fucking hell, man. I just lost, lost a plug of air thanks to Trent. Like he has so many toys to play with here and yeah sure, grab my hair mate. Fucking hell. It became a posthumous hit following his death on New Year's Day. This kinda reminds me of the Sandy Cheek scene from Spongebob. Like whenever she was singing. I believe that was inspired by Hank Williams, so do whatever you want. The country standard was written about William's first wife and mother to his son, Hank Williams Jr. Oh wow, that, that needs a fucking mix of day, fucking hell. You're cheating. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Uh, Dolly Parton. I'm actually turning into a fucking bro country faggot, fucking hell. Like it didn't even exist back then, but fuck it. I mean, for how she was looking, she looked kind of interesting, and then that voice came on, and I was like, oh, you have such a boring voice, damn. Why am I saying damn to that? What the fuck? 
Since it was released amid the feminist movement, the singer often had to defend the I mean, Steve Young already knows that I'm gonna fucking hate this bit, but I'm still requesting it. I don't like that tone at all. Mama tried, Merle Haggard. First thing I remember knowing was a long time. I mean it all sounds the fucking same to me, man. Well like what makes this song distinctive from the from the other one? Oh yeah, he has a dick and the woman had a had a vagina. Yeah, that's kinda of it all of it. And he plays an instrument this time. Oh alright. Yeah, but what makes him different from George Strait or Garth Brooks? And Gar Brooks, yeah, he is a douchebag. At least I remember Gar Brooks because he's kind of unavoidable. Uh, and he is a douchebag, so that makes him distinctive for me. Like, what does George Strait have? Hank Williams is iconic. What does Merle Haggard have? What does this other bloke have? I don't fucking remember them. Oh, this is a good song, actually. This is a country song. Oh, this is easily my favorite of the list. I'm not this on Tinder, really. What's number one again? Is Journey Cash number one? Yeah, I think Journey Cash number one. So what's number two now? Yeah, this is a good song. It's number two, fuck. Like, what is a huge country song? Dolly Parton, I think. Maybe. She is country though, so I think she is. Owing to its gender neutral lyrics, the song has since been covered by both male and female singers. Willie Nelson. Maybe someone outside of country. He kind of looks like Jerry Cantrell. I like that. I don't like his music though. He looks like a grunge rocker, but that's kind of it, honestly. Number two, this is so fucking boring. And this list, he just sounds the same. A country song in the 80s, really. Well, it exists, but you know, as in an all timer. Yeah. Like, this video is almost longer than this video, which is saying something. Like, they always hit one note that I fucking hate, and I'm just kind of like, is this really the final product? Is this really how it sounds? Like, does no one give a shit about their music? Oh, there you go. He is a heavy drinker. That, ex that explains my question. They're all drunk junkies. That's why they don't give a shit. And hey, it sells, so why change it? Yeah. Don't blame them. Number one, this is so fucking boring. The Devil Went Down to Georgia with Charlie Daniels. I prefer Primus, everyone does. Wide Open Space with Dixie Chicks. I'm so glad they got like fucking bands. Call Miner's Daughter by Loretta Lynn. Daughter? <laughs> fucking hell. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys waiting to edit. Way too much fucking text with Bowie, I don't know, pause this shit, fuck this. Like, it's, it's fucking freezing whenever I pause this, fuck this shit. El Paso by Marty Robbins. Why is she shitting on the counter? Like, people need to buy shit there, fuck all. Journey Cash, of course. Love is a burning flame. Yeah, this is a classic. He ripped off a lot of artists, but damn, if it wasn't great. The Led Zeppelin of Kansas, for sure. I'm not a huge fan of those, like, those pink bitches in the back, like... Yeah, we're here. Okay. 
I'll do it. I'll walk through it again, of course. There you go. Like, he, he woke me up from this fucking boring mess. So there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I know it's red. This is boring as shit. Just to watch him talk. There should be a medal there, really. It probably is. Do, 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 do. I love that drum fill right there. Yeah, this is easy, the best. The only song that doesn't bore me to fucking tears. Lukenbach! Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce that shit. I guess we can read the comments, but they're not gonna be interesting at all. Those are the worst mistakes ever made by doctors. Um, I'm kind of semi-interested semi in this video because, you know, it's like, oh, they fucked up majorly and this, they, it might be dead, they might be dead, and I'm like, yeah, maybe, that sounds interesting, you know, people dying. I should, I should rephrase that. Um, yeah, I shouldn't say that, it's actually pretty bad, but, you know, I'm not, a huge, uh, I'm not a huge fan of people because we pollute the airs and, like, we fuck up the world and a lot of people are just fucking stupid, so... Uh, a person less in the world, you know, doesn't really mind me, so there you go, but, you know. That's really controversial to say, so <laughs> let's move on from that. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of it, honestly. Remember when country music was good? Well, this list wasn't really, it was kind of boring. But I'm gonna like that comment because, yeah, I, I guess it used to be tolerable. You need to include Glenn Campbell's... Wichi Wichita, what the? I'm not even gonna read further. Like fuck that name. Also, Brooks and Dunn. So many. Uh, if I have a favorite song, I would go for Dixie Chicks. Wide open spaces. Fucking fuck the Dixie Chicks. Like I'm so glad they got fucking slammed. I just came to check in if Journey Cash was first. Yes, job succeeded. There you go. <laughs> fucking guy called Dutch Gopnik. So he is. Uh, uh, he comes from the Netherlands. And he has the most generic fucking icon ever, like a fucking, the back of a fucking car. Uh, why, why are Dutch people so fucking normy? Fucking hell, man. Like, yeah, we get it. You're like a lonely mill guy that like jacks off to cars. <coughs> we get it. You're, you're normy. Oh, fuck. Fuck Dutchies. <laughs> I hate everyone. I only love myself and Trent and some other guys and games, anime, shit like that. Um, where is Mr. Conway Twitty? Fuck yes. <laughs> Again, I hate, I hate Family Guy, but that that's a classic. I'm really surprised it was not Conway Twitty. Two comments back to back, classic. <laughs> People only know that for Family Guy. I only know that for Family Guy, so there you go. What a shame, not a single Dolly Parton song. Oh yeah, that suck. Oh yeah, that grammar terrible. Fucking hell. Uh, what about Hello Darling by Conway? It is way better than Low Places. Yeah, put fucking Conway tw Tweedy on there already. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> Crazy Arms by Ray Price. Underrated but well worth a listen. <clears throat> I wonder if the people who made this list have ever listened to country music. They probably haven't. They, they probably just typed in on Google country songs. And they just went with that, so <laughs> that's probably it, honestly. Every Watch Mojo video ever. Um, there you go. That's the list. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to the channel for future lives on. If you love country and you just got on this channel, don't come on this channel because I fucking hate country. Why are you doing this? I already said it at the beginning. I hate country, but uh, what's the thing? I didn't have any requests left, so I did it. I was like, fuck it, let's get it out of the way and be done with it. So that's kind of it, honestly. If you love country, then don't come on this channel. This is probably the last channel, channel that you want to visit. But if you want to listen to, listen slash look at a guy that has interesting opinions and kind of slams everything and, you know, um, want to see interesting opinions and entertaining opinions and then entertaining rants and shit like that etc etc 
they are on the right channel, they are on the right place. Subscribe to the, subscribe to Sound of us. I'm a great channel. I love myself. I hate everyone else, so there you go. That's kind of it, honestly. Um, yeah. Do all that shit. Support me. Uh, suck my dick on Patreon. No, just kidding. I don't have that gay shit. Um, there you go. Oh, I already earned enough, so why do I need that shit? Thank you. <clears throat> I'm not sure why I'm still going on, but uh, there you go. Counter sucks. Journey Cash, Wing of Fire. Pretty good. Hey, Hank Williams. I like that. And Carbrook as well. There you go. Peace.